Hey, Internet! Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. I had to think about it for a second. So, we are close to the end of Halloween Town, but the first thing we want to do this episode, sorry Jack, but we need Goofy so we can get the Trinity. I'd stay away from Oogie Boogie if I were you. Yeah, right. He's a pushover. You'll never find the green door! Where's Locke? There he is. Oogie Boogie made us do it. We had no choice. Eh, you kind of did. Anyways, yeah, there's the red trinity mark we need to get. Because if we don't, it'll be gone forever. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I also realized I never explored this side of the manor. Oh, looky here. Thunder! 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 Darn it, I had to get the lucid gem first, here. didn't I? Here. All right, puppies, mega ether. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oogie's manner is very vertical. Actually, I think I fell too low. Okay, yeah, that's the entrance to Oogie Boogie's room. And we do not want to go in there yet. If we go in there without getting the Trinity Mark, we will not be able to get the Trinity Mark. Torture Chamber, that sounds nice. Yeah, we fell too low, so what we have to do is fall all the way down to the bottom now. Ooh. Score. So I forget if there are any treasure chests down here. But first, we're going to summon Bambi, because why not? <laughs> Come, Bambi! Bambi's very out of place in a dark world like Halloween Town. <laughs> but he matches my keyboard very nicely. More HP, all right. Is this also no? I thought that took you back to Guillotine Square. Don't know why. Bye, Bambi. All right. What we need to do is get in this. Of course. Why is it not letting us get in? Thank you. Yeah, if you get in the bathtub, it'll take you back up to the main p entrance of the manor. Thank you, Clawfoot Bathtub. <laughs> Donald got more HP. He definitely needs it. <laughs> And we get a miffle. Oh, that's it. That's not that great. Back up to the entrance.
Hey, hey, another chest in here. A dispel G. Time to go to the torture chamber and take on Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie, give me the back the heart. You want it? Well then come on over and get it. Ah! <laughs> Why was Jack's line the only one that wasn't <laughs> voiced? Let's see if I can get their attention. Oh, this is it. Nobody disrespects me. Nobody! All right, so this is Oogie Boogie. Interesting fight. We're gonna start by summoning Bambi because uh Bambi will make this fight a lot simpler. <laughs> the fact that you could just spam magic endlessly while Bambi's around is just amazing. Alright, yeah, what we're gonna do is just like thunder the heck out of Oogie Boogie. That does not deal as much damage as I wanted it to. We get it. Come on, baby. <laughs> You want to do is step on the button when you're like right next to him. Then you, it'll take you up and you can just beat him up. That was hardly any time at all. I was hoping to be able to one-hit KO him with Bambi, but nope. Roll, baby. He's an interesting boss. Certainly a very unique boss. What was that? I think I'm, I'm think I'm close to beating him. Goofy, 
like, why did you have to use up all your OP? Take that. <laughs> Ooh, Goofy learned second chance. And I got more AP! Yes. I have so many abilities I want to equip. <laughs> yeah, Oogie's a bunch as a bag of bugs, literally. <laughs> So that heart was a failure after all. And we obtained the Holy Circlet and Ansem's report number seven. Oogie Boogie apparently had a rain and a piece of paper. It's not over yet. It's time for the real boss of Halloween Town, Oogie Manor. It's very weird. Whoa, how did he get so big? Look, it's brimming with the power of darkness! Oogie Boogie's drawing power from those dark globs! So we just have to destroy those fiends, right? So this is kind of a platforming boss, which is a bit annoying, but it's also a very interesting boss. So basically there's a bunch of those veins all around the manor. You need to destroy them all to beat him. And this is why the Red Trinity Mark disappears. Because the manor literally is going to be destroyed at the end of this fight. Come, Donald. Come, Goofy. Just the fact that one of like the main characters in the game is called Goofy is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Powers of darkness have nothing against my incredibly light keyblade. It's like light and colorful to a ridiculous extent. Ooh, sweet goofy got more HP. <laughs> I forgot he summons Heartless in the middle of the battle. This fight does get a bit annoying if it's like, oh, I've got like one sphere left, but I don't know where the heck it is. other dark globs. <laughs> hey, Oogie! How's it going? <laughs> that is interesting. I've never actually attempted to climb his face before.
no! Is there a dark glob I missed over here, perhaps? Nice platforming, Sora. Okay, the camera is not being cooperative. Then again, what else is new? Yeah, this is the part where it's like... Oh, there it is! doesn't strike that. Oogie, you're just prolonging the inevitable. Goodbye. Ooh, I got more MP. Sweet. That's like the perfect time to get more MP, because I'm about to get a Keyblade that doesn't boost my MP by one, like the Crab Claw. And Uki's manor was built on top of the keyhole. Interesting. Sora shoots it into the moon, which reflects it into the keyhole. That's pretty cool. And so the Heartless did not get a heart, because they had one anyways. Attain the power of stars. Gravity has been upgraded to Gravara. Hot dog. Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. Aw, ship. I guess we have no choice. We'll have to cancel the Heartless Halloween Festival for now. Here, I want you to have this. And we get the Pumpkin Head Keyblade. Visit us anytime, Sora. Maybe next year's Halloween's beam will be the scariest ever. <laughs> Emotion, memory, we have put in all the necessary ingredients. What else do you need to make a heart? What is a heart anyways? I can't figure it out. Alright, so first thing we're going to do... Pumpkin Head has Vuln Reach and the ability to deal a stream of critical blows. So that'll give us a bit more range, a bit more uh, frequent criticals, and one more strength. I say yay to that. Ooh, also. Holy Circlet reduces fire, ice, and lightning damage by 20%. Also raises max AP. Ooh, I want that. It'll lower my HP and strength, though. Eh, I want it anyways. Let's see. Raises max MP. Raises HP and defense. AP and defense. Alright. <laughs> six, yes. Six AP. Great. Blitz. And then, ooh, recover MP whenever you're hitting battle. Yes, please. Sorry, counterattack. Goofy still? Huh. Okay, Goofy does not need Treasure Magnet. He really doesn't. I'll give him a second chance. Alright. And that uh, finishes off Halloween Town, more or less. There are some more chests here, but I'm either not going to get them, or I'm going to get them later on. 
And the Heartless have left the square. How grand. And now the only safe point in Halloween Town because we destroyed Oogie's Manor is at Guillotine Gate. What are you free still doing here? Halloween Town's a quiet with Oogie Boogie gone, so we're gonna shake it up. Quiet is boring. I'm not doing anything bad. Not now, anyway. I'm keeping an eye on Lock and Barrel. Actually, I don't like pulling pranks, but I don't want to be left out either. Aw, poor Barrel. You'd better keep an eye on those free rascals. They may pull a prank on you the second you look away. Eh, move Goofy. Thank you. Let's go to the gummy ship! <laughs> Halloween Town. Let's go back to Traverse Town. We do it in every after every world. And we got a torn page, so next chapter of Winnie the Pooh is here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Magician study, please. Alright. I walked it the long way around, didn't I? This is the best uh, uh, chapter of the Hundred Acre Wood, I'm just gonna say. By far the best minigame. Alright, where is it? Yep, right here. A swing hangs from a stout tree. Take a look. Yes. I'm not joking when I say this is by far the best part of the Hundred Acre Wood. <laughs> Look, Pooh, something is floating this way. I think you're right, Piglet, but what could it be? Hmm. <sighs> I can't do Pooh. Oh no, it's Eeyore. <laughs> Why, it looks like Eeyore! Hello, Eeyore, if it is you. Hello, Pooh. Yes, it's me. Can you pull me out? That is, if it's not too much trouble. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. I feel like Eeyore is the only character in the Hundred Acre Wood whose voice I can actually do fairly well. And maybe Owl. <laughs> oh, hello. Thanks again for your help with my carrots. I thought I saw Piglet down there. Nope. I wonder what we can do. Eeyore's drifting away! Sora, can you swim? I would be happy to help Eeyore. Never fear, Eeyore. I'm here. Thank you, Pooh. Thank you, other you. You know, floating along out there, it seemed like something was missing. And something's still missing. Why, Eeyore's tail is gone! Is that what's missing? Let's see. Yep, lost it again. Wonder where it went this time. It's not much of a tail, though I'm sort of attached to it. But I don't know why anybody would look for it. Probably won't find it anyway. Sora, why don't we all look for Eeyore's tail? Lost something? Searching from a high place is the quickest way to find it. Owl, can you fly up high and help us find Eeyore's tail? Sorry, but my eyes aren't what they used to be. Too much reading, you know. But I can offer good advice. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. See that swing up there? Take Pooh there. You're a bit too big for the swing, but Pooh should fit nicely. I'll tell you more when you get there. Hey, Pooh. Follow me. Or, you know, you don't have to. 
Poo's like, oh, bother. I'm a bit distracted. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, dear. Where could it be? Is this another one of those glitches where, like, you want... You can't talk to Pooh? Let's all fi look very hard to help our friend Eeyore. I think I see his tail right on top of his house. Darn it, Poo. Are there any chests in the Hundred Acre Wood? I can't remember. Oh, I don't have high jump in this world. Or dodge roll? Pooh will follow you if you target him with R1. Hey, Pooh. Follow me. <laughs> uh, Sora, where are we going today? Are we going to find some honey? Uh, no, Pooh. We're actually going to the swing. Oh, really? Because I think I see a small smackerel of honey right over there. Pooh, don't! <laughs> Oh, uh, once I get started on honey, I just can't stop. <sighs> Alright, Pooh, fine. Now, Pooh, if you see more honey, please don't get distracted. We need to go up to the swing to find Eeyore's tail. Oh, I suppose you're right. But I think I still smell some honey over there now, Pooh. No. Oh, bother. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in minutes. Come on, Pooh, we're almost there. Here we are. Time for the best minigame in the Hundred Acre Wood. Here's what to do. First, get ready to push. How? Like this. Like this. Then press R1 to give Pooh a push. Press R1. How's this? Not bad, not bad. Here's the next step. Before R Press R1 before he swings back to the bottom. If you time it right, Pooh will swing higher and higher. Try it. It'll help you. I'll help you with the timing. Press R1 when I spread my wings. Push too soon, Pooh won't go any higher. Push too late, and he'll go too high. Pooh swing. Press R1 at the right time to send Pooh higher. This one is seriously amazing. Went f Pooh almost sa <laughs> Pooh almost sailed clean out of the book. <laughs> Alright, Pooh, let's try that again. I think I flew too far, <laughs> in my professional opinion. <laughs> yeah, we're trying again. Nice thing is you don't have to lead Pooh up each time. Careful now, your tail is counting on us to find that tail. Give Pooh honey to pep him up. So I'm purposefully messing up the timing. Oh, bother! <laughs> right into the river. Oh, bother! I don't like getting wet. Sora didn't push me right. Perhaps I'll have to fly farther to find Eeyore's tail. <laughs> Pooh does not seem to mind very much that he just got pushed in the river. If Pooh gets tired, give him honey. Pooh swin. Alright, what we need to do is... Push R1 now. 
Basically, when he's flown back, when he's as far back on the swing as he can be, that's when you push R1. Sorry, Eeyore. <laughs> but that's where his tail was. Hmm, that looks familiar. How's it looking? Tigger was here? There we go. It's not much of a tale, but it's mine. Thanks, everyone. I wish we could put the Hundred Acre Wood back the way it was, too. Well, I'm, I'm doing all I can, Pooh. torn page turned into a new item. Attain the power of time. Stop has been upgraded to Stopra. Well, well. I think it's time to return to the outside world, Pooh. So sorry. Alright. Before we save and quit and leave the episode off here, I want to just do a little bit more shopping at Traverse Town. I want to see how much money I have. Ooh, I should also visit the Dalmatians and the item workshop. Alright, Koopo, let's see. I don't have any bright shards, that's weird. AP up, I need some mithril for that. Master earring. Darn it. Can't mix anything. Buy one gun. All right, Dalmatians. Reward, come on. I rescued like nine of your puppies in Halloween Town. How wood. Well, anyways, I think that's where we're gonna leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie as always, and I hope to see you for the next episode. We will be going to the next world. And it should be a very interesting one. Anyways, have a great day and God bless.